Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Dave Meyer with BusyWeb. So delighted to have you with us today for Buzz Builders. And today we're we've got uh, something of a special occasion. We're actually featuring John Nemo of LinkedIn Riches today with us. Hello, John. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful, wonderful. And uh, as we do each week, I'm just going to run through a few things, and then I'll stop my screen sharing and hand it over to John. Um, as we do each week, though, I'll cover a few minor technical details, get everybody off to the races and uh, joining. I do see we've got some viewers already popping up, so welcome to those folks. And uh, as we do each week, we'll go through, and uh, I'm just going to cover a few brief slides and then get right over to the main attraction. We're going to cover a little bit about BusyWeb, of course, but then we're going to introduce John Nemo of LinkedIn Riches. John and I go way, way back to college, which is probably earlier than both of us would care to admit. Um, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic deal, and, and John's been doing just amazing work with LinkedIn, so I asked him if he would join us and share some of his tips and tricks on how to really rake in money and leads with LinkedIn, and so I'm excited to have you here, John. Thank you. Um, we'll also go through, John has a presentation ready for us on generating revenue with LinkedIn. He's got some demo time built right in to talk about and show you how you do this stuff, and then during the call and at the end, we're going to have a live Q&A session. So you can join, you can post questions live by either joining us, you can go to busyweb.com, scroll down to the lower left and click on the article for today. It says Buzz Builders for 1218, generating revenue with LinkedIn. And you can click on that link to watch the video in line. Or if you'd like to ask questions live on the Hangout, you can either join the Hangout live or just watch the Hangout at google.com slash plus busyweb to use the Q&A feature to ask us questions. We'll be able to see that on the screen and answer questions as they come in. Um, all of these are going to be broadcast live on YouTube, and I'm pretty excited to announce I finally went through and looked at them all. Um, we, uh, this is actually our 76th Buzz Builders webinar that's been posted on YouTube. So, John, thank you very much for joining us on this momentous occasion. <laughs> you bet. All right. So, cool. Uh, a couple things about BusyWeb before we go in. Um, BusyWeb is a web design and social media marketing company. So what we do is we build websites that are designed to help grow LinkedIn and all of the other social networks. When you publish to a BusyWeb-powered website, it'll go out automatically to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and your LinkedIn company page and any of your showcase pages that you've set up. So uh, that takes a little bit of the heat off of having to go into LinkedIn and do some of this stuff. Um, and we just help people save time and money by getting them set up correctly from the get-go. Uh, we like to say at BusyWeb, we help our clients generate buzz without getting stung. The generating buzz part is pretty easy. The not getting stung part, we don't lock folks into anything that they don't need. And we help them save time and money by getting the right tools up that are built correctly. So that's us. Um, of course, what some of that stuff can mean, if you, if you need a Facebook or a Google Plus page or, of course, LinkedIn pages, we can help you get those set up, and then we'll dovetail right in with John's program. And uh, we're excited to be a referral partner with John now. So if you really need to take LinkedIn seriously, we're going to connect you up with John at LinkedIn Riches so that you can get the training and experience you need to really generate re generate real results. And I'm excited. I'm actually going through the coursework right now myself. So again, thanks, John. And let's go right into generating revenue with LinkedIn. And I'm going to present. I'm going to stop screen sharing for a moment so you'll see me. And hello, sir. Good to see you. <laughs> and then we're going to click over to John. And here you go. So you should have the floor. And it's all you. Again, to remind everyone, if you have questions, I would encourage you to go to google.com slash plus busyweb and use the Q&A app in the Hangout to ask us live questions. And then uh, if you want to join the Hangout at the end, we're actually going to do some live Q&A on the Hangout, including technical support for our BusyWeb clients. If they need some help, we can actually take you through that as well. So without further ado, here's John Nemo of LinkedIn Riches. Thanks, John. Hey, Dave, thank you. And thank you for not mentioning the year that we graduated college. I would. <laughs> We're getting old, man. Yep. Um, hopefully everybody can see the screen. I've got the BusyWeb logo up and LinkedIn Riches. If you can't, let me know or let Dave know. 
Um, but hopefully the technical uh, glitches are out of the way and we can have some fun. So again, my name is John Nemo, um, and this is me, obviously. And what I want to talk to you about today, I want to jump right in because I'm a very kind of cut to the chase type guy. I want to talk to you about something very simple, how to use LinkedIn to make money, right? And what I mean by that is how to leverage LinkedIn to get three key things, more sales leads, more clients, and more revenue. Period, end of story. That is what you're going to walk away with here in the next few minutes. And I always get excited when I get these emails because I do these live trains all the time, and I want to kind of whet your appetite for what happens, right? So here's Tyler. He just emailed me this the other day. You know, I got, your strategy got me 20 new targeted connections. Check out the email I got below, right? And the smiley face is he got a new client already. And this is my favorite. This one just came in from Australia. Good eye, mate, right? James is in Australia. He just started doing some of the training. Within 24 hours, he's got two client meetings. Looks like he's going to close two new deals. This is within 24 hours of jumping into LinkedIn Riches, doing the training, right? So it is that instant. It is that fast. And I'm going to show you right now how it works, okay? The whole thing behind LinkedIn is you have to start by flipping it upside down. And I'm going to get into this more in a little bit, but just start with this image in your head because really in order to leverage LinkedIn, the way I'm going to show you how to do it to get the clients, the revenue, the leads, you've got to flip the model upside down. And the first question I always get, right, is, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this really going to work in my niche? Because, John, I've got a pretty unique niche. You know, I don't know. Is my audience on LinkedIn, right? What I always tell them is, well, first of all, I tell them, don't ever dress like this in public, <laughs> okay? And the second thing I tell them is, you got to see what I've been able to do in a tiny niche on LinkedIn. Okay, so let me explain. My niche or niche, if you will, depending on where you're from, is selling marketing services to debt collection agencies, right? It doesn't get any more tiny and marketed and niche than that, right? There's only a few thousand collection agencies in the entire country. And I'll explain later why I'm trying to sell marketing services to these guys. But here's the key thing, right? On LinkedIn, in this tiny niche, I was able to do over $135,000 in revenue in just 90 days. Okay, just me on LinkedIn doing exactly what you're doing, sitting in front of my computer. 99% of these people had never met me before, but because of the system that I developed on LinkedIn, and what I'm gonna show you in these tips here in the next few minutes, I did over 135 grand in revenue for my business. Again, in a tiny niche. This will work in any niche, but I'm gonna show you. So here's five key things you're gonna take away on this webinar, okay? Um, number one, and this is a great tip, and I'm going to get to this in a second, how to instantly rank at the top on LinkedIn in any niche. This is if you're a college football fan, this is getting ranked number one in the AP poll, baby, right? <laughs> AP, BCS, whatever it might be, you're going to be number one on LinkedIn. This is the equivalent also of being number one on Google, right? When someone searches for your niche, your industry, your business, your service, I'm going to show you how to be number one on LinkedIn in the same kind of arena. The second thing, I'm going to show you how to avoid this huge mistake that I see almost everybody still making with LinkedIn. All right, that's number two. Three, I'm going to show you how to harness the power of LinkedIn groups. And what I call that is the money module, right? What I'm thinking here is this is like the game shows, right, where the guy's in the booth and the money is swirling around him like a tornado and they're just pulling it out of thin air. That's what LinkedIn groups are like. And I'm going to blow your mind with what I'm able to show you how to leverage these groups for your business. Number four, I'm going to show you another key thing, how to instantly locate and engage these ready-to-buy prospects, the exact people who need your service or what your business offers, how to instantly connect with them. It makes it a lot easier to do business when you're connecting with your actual customer, right? <laughs> Am I right? Okay. I like to have fun on these webinars. Dave knew what he was getting in for with my personality, so buckle up. Yeah, absolutely. We're good. <laughs> okay, good. Final thing, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly what I did, right? And what James and these other clients are doing. How to get six figures in any niche using this system on LinkedIn. So again, there I am. I'm handsome. I'm dashing. I, I'm glad you're on board and watching this. And when I started, you know, I, I want to go back to this slide because now I remember why I put it in. <laughs> it was to give my background. So I graduated um, from a college in the late 90s. I'm going to go ahead and give it away with a degree that doesn't exist anymore. It was print journalism. So I started out working for newspapers. They used to throw them on your driveway or your front step. They were made out of paper. Like we all read them on the iPad now. But anyway, had a background as a journalist. Worked for the Associated Press, Arizona Republic, working, writing news stories. Then got into talk radio, public relations, started working for some trade associations. Eventually, about a year and a half ago, fast forwarding quite a ways, I got in 
to my own business and said, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to you know, start my own group. Came up with a really original name, Nemo Media Group, named it after myself. <laughs> okay, And I wanted to sell these types of services, marketing, branding, web design, whatever, right? All the things I love to do that I'm good at. But the advice I got from everybody was get a niche, right? My business coaches, everyone I talked to, all the books I read, just like you guys, right? I had to have a core audience that I needed to start with in order to feed my kids. And I got three wild boys that, you know, eat like wolves. So I had to make some money fast. So I decided on the debt collection industry. And the reason was, again, I had worked for the trade association there. I knew a lot of debt collection agency owners around the country, and I didn't see anyone offering them services. So what I knew was, I think I have a market here that I could sell some marketing services in that's not overly competitive, right? And so what I did was, I did what any good entrepreneur or business owner does. I got my box of super pretzels out and started eating my brain food. And now if, you have a, if you're on the video, go ahead and put in the chat and Dave can report if we get any uh, ideas. But I want to know what your brain food or go-to drink is for work when you're really struggling, right? For me, there's nothing quite like the warm, you know, steam coming off, the nice soft pretzel, salt, Diet Coke. I mean, it just gets me going, right? How about you, Dave? What do you use for your go-to food? I've got uh, a secret stash of frozen um, baking, baking uh, dark chocolate chips. <sighs> So I'll have like two or three of those. They're Godiva like dark chocolate ch yes. chips, and they're awesome. You are correct, sir. Yeah. To quote man. Wow. I'm jealous, Dave. I'm switching. All right. So anyway, got my super pretzels, got my think on, and I knew when I wanted to grow my business, I didn't want to do cold calls, right? I hate them. I hate making them. They're demoralizing. I hate receiving them, right? I hate getting interrupted when I'm trying to do business with cold calls for people. I knew I didn't want to do expensive advertisements. I didn't have money, right? I was starting a new business. I didn't want to do the pay to play where I had to pay to get content placed or things like that. So I knew I didn't want to market my business the way I hated being marketed to. And I didn't want to do these costly, kind of inefficient, ineffective methods. So what I decided was to really leverage social media, okay? And I had done this for years. I had worked in it, spent thousands of dollars, gone to classes, seminars, training, really learned all about how to sell a market on social media. And I ended up deciding to grow my own business on LinkedIn. And I want to show you why I chose that and why you're going to want to choose that after I get done with you today, okay? <laughs> LinkedIn, first of all, it's where your audience is, right? The sole focus is professional. There's no funny cat videos. There's no um, you know, crazy status updates with people you know, sharing whatever it might be, pictures of their kids or their dog. Your mom isn't on LinkedIn commenting all the time. Oh, I'm going to push like. Oh, hey, honey, you, you, you look fat in that picture, right? I mean, like, it's think about the other social networks. And obviously, I'm talking about Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can do business on them, but they have a personal slant, right? LinkedIn is all business all the time. People are on there for that simple reason. They are looking for either to hire somebody or to do business. So it makes sense to be on there. That's where your audience is, right? It's growing like crazy, right? Hundreds of millions of people, hundreds of countries. The stats as well are just mind-blowing as far as what LinkedIn is doing compared to other social networks, especially for B2B conversions, you know, four times better, more leads than Facebook. And here is the mind-melting stat, okay? Your face may actually melt and drip onto your keyboard. And I apologize in advance for the mess, but you're not going to believe the stat that I found. 64% of all visitors that come to your corporate or business website through a social media channel, 64% of those people are coming from LinkedIn already, okay? This is a new study came out a couple weeks ago. Again, it's all about Big Blue, baby, right? Look at this. This is like Pac-Man. LinkedIn is just chomping up the competition. And I'm talking about, again, driving traffic from social media to your corporate or business website. 64% of your audience is already coming from LinkedIn. So why wouldn't you be investing your time, your effort, your energy on this platform, right? Rather than competing with funny cat videos on Facebook, okay? Also, Facebook, have you noticed if you're a marketer or a business, they are totally putting the screws to us as far as paying now for engagement, paying to reach your normal fans. I mean, it's that's a whole other hangout for another time. I want to stay on task, stay on focus. Again, going with that stat as far as the amount of people coming to my website, it, it worked with me with LinkedIn, okay? It was very true in my case. So here's my website, right? I'm selling debt collection marketing services. Tiny niche, right? Remember that little piece of cake I showed in the beginning? But here's what I saw. 
all my traffic was coming from LinkedIn. And the best part of it was, in those 90 days when I made 135 grand in revenue on LinkedIn, just me, right? I got 750 visits from LinkedIn. That's not that impressive of a number. But again, it's not about the quantity of visitors. It's the quality. So the average person coming to my website from LinkedIn is looking at seven pages of content. Okay, I only have like 10 pages on my whole website, right? They're looking at seven of them in one visit. They are spending three and a half minutes or more on my site, one person coming from LinkedIn. And what that told me was either I have the best website ever because I learned from people like Dave Meyer and BusyWeb or, and I'm sure that's true, but or I'm reaching my target audience, right? And I got comments like this on my blog all the time. Right, John, I love it. This I've been searching high and low for this. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Right, I use LinkedIn to find my people. Right, glory, my people. Okay, and that's what you're going to do with your business. And the first thing I need to show you is how to get found on LinkedIn. How to rank number one in any niche. Okay, we're going to do this here live. So I don't care what your niche is, how big, how small. If it's debt collection, right, I'm number one. LinkedIn marketing consultant, right, on LinkedIn. I'm number two. The only person ahead of me is Oliver, who works at LinkedIn, right? So it's a little hard to beat the guy that works there. I will, however, take this moment to make fun of his name and go, Oliver, Oliver. Remember the musical? My wife loves it. Oliver Twist, I think. But anyway, okay, here's people that have been through a webinar similar to this or the LinkedIn Riches training, the full training. It doesn't matter what niche it is, right? So healthcare receivables, because again, I work with a lot of debt collectors who want to sell services. In the healthcare niche, when they're trying to get hospitals or dental offices or doctor's clinics to use them, they're all over the front page of these searches, right? So if I'm running a dental clinic or a doctor's office and I'm searching for healthcare help, these guys are all over the place for healthcare billing, right? 225,000 searches, Steve is number one. Think of the value for your business, right? This is like going on Google, searching healthcare billing and having your business be number one, right? Right there in front of you. Even the people toward the bottom there, Hubert and Tiffany, right on the front page of searches. Again, on LinkedIn, search is a powerful feature. And I'm gonna show you right now how to get to number one on there. So let me open this up um, and get to a page. And hopefully everybody can see my LinkedIn page. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So let's take the niche I've been talking about just to stay consistent, debt collection, right? Hopefully I'm still number one or else it'd be embarrassing. Okay, there I am, right? So number one out of 88,000 searches. Okay, number two is Kim, just went through the training. Michelle has not gone through the training, but I'll get to her, I swear it. Tyler, been through the training. Tom, tra did the training. Chris, Jeff, all these guys. Jeff just did this like a week ago. This is amazing, right? Michelle, all these guys are showing up that high on this niche search, right, for their business. So I'm gonna show you how this works, right? Let's just take Tyler, the guy that sent me the smiley face email. What you're gonna notice when you look at Tyler's profile, see all the, how debt collection is highlighted over and over again in yellow right here? You scroll down, you see it again and again and again, okay? Debt collection, debt collection, debt collection, right? It's in his job titles, it's in his summaries. Everywhere you look, it's debt collection. The way that LinkedIn works with search, it's a little more complex than I can explain on a webinar, but here's the simple answer. It's all about keyword stuffing your titles and your profiles and your summaries. So I want you right now to envision a big old keyword sandwich that you're gonna make on LinkedIn and you're gonna stuff that bad boy with your favorite keywords, your favorite search terms, okay? And meaning the terms that your clients are gonna to use to find your business. So if they're looking for a debt collection agency, you're gonna stuff your profile with the term debt collection, debt collection, debt collection, and you're gonna be number one, right? If your clients are gonna be looking for LinkedIn marketing consultant, say they want someone to help them with LinkedIn, there I am, number three. Jamie is number two, she works at LinkedIn and Oliver, but again, look at my profile, right? Number three, nationally out of this search, again, LinkedIn, 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 marketing, marketing, marketing. See how that works? So again, with your profile, think about what the search terms are, and you probably already know this if you do any kind of search engine optimization or Google advertising. How are your clients gonna find you, right? Are they gonna type in plumber, Minneapolis, St. Paul? Whatever it might be, whatever your service is, your product is, know those keywords, load them into your profile. And you still have to write a good profile, you can't just like cut and paste you know, keywords in. But again, this is how to instantly rank number one in any niche, right? It works for anybody. So I wanna get back into the presentation, and I wanna say that's tip number one. 
Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Don't dislocate your shoulder, but go ahead and pat yourself on the back because you already are going to be ahead of 99% of people on LinkedIn. You're also going to be ahead of them after you see tip number two because this is a mistake I see almost everybody making on LinkedIn. Not you guys because you're smart, you follow BusyWeb, and you learn, but everybody else, okay? <laughs> so here we go. Again, back to this slide. You've got to flip LinkedIn upside down as far as the model. Right? When LinkedIn first started in 2003, it was basically a glorified kind of job site. Right, Post your resume, post your profile. If you're an HR manager or a company, you might go and search for talent on LinkedIn. And it still works really well for that purpose, Right, for hiring managers, companies looking for someone with a certain skill set. Nothing wrong with that. But I want to make a ton of money on here. And what I have found is if you flip the model upside down, that happens. And what I mean by that is, most people, because they're still approaching LinkedIn like it's 2003, are doing a self kind of facing profile, right? It's all about, I'm John Nemo, and I attended this college, and I work here, and I do this, and I've won these awards, right? Here's the bad news you're basically bringing a bullhorn to the cocktail party. Nobody cares about you. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? To quote Dale Carnegie, your clients, your customers, they only care about themselves morning, noon, and dinner. They don't care that I went to college with Dave Meyer. They don't care that I worked for the Associated Press. They don't care that I did these PR jobs. You know what they care about? Can I solve their problems, right? Can I fix what they need fixed? And so what I'm thinking about is Fix It Felix. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, Wreck-It Ralph. It's hilarious. Feel free to put in the comments if you have. I have little kids, so I was forced to watch it, but I loved it because it was all about 1980s video games. Right, and one of the characters in here is Fix It Felix, and all he does is he goes around with his little golden hammer and he fixes people's problems, right? So again, I want you to think about your profile, your content in that way. How do I solve client problems? Or in the words of another great American thinker and speaker, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Now check out the moves while my DJ revolves it. Come on, break it down, Dave. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> hey, now take heed, because I'm a lyrical poet. Busy Web's on the scene, just in case you didn't know it. Okay, for those <laughs> of you that weren't alive, for those of you that weren't alive during the 1980s, Dave Meyer and I were rocking out to this song. We had our tube socks pulled high. Maybe that was a little later than tube socks. But we had our gerbo jeans. We were rocking out to Vanilla Ice. And he's right. If you've got a problem, if your clients have a problem, you need to solve it. So this is tip number two. You need to make your LinkedIn profile client-facing, right? You need to channel your inner Vanilla Ice, your inner Fix-It Felix. You need to flip everything around, okay, with your profile and with your content, right? So you look at my debt collection area on my LinkedIn profile. The first sentence, right? Here's what we do. We help your debt collection agency increase revenue, get clients, and protect your reputation online. Period. End of story. Right? It's not about, my name is John Nemo, and I used to work for the Debt Collection Trade Association, and I won PR awards, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. The first thing is how I help you make money because the debt collection agency people that I want to sell to, the CEOs, that's all they care about, right? How can you get me more, more money, more clients, or help me have a better brand online? So you need to flip your LinkedIn profile around. Here's another example from the section of my profile that I talk about selling LinkedIn consulting services, right? Here's what I do. I teach people how to leverage LinkedIn to get nonstop leads, clients, and revenue, right? Here's how I do it. Now notice a little tip in here where I'm using all capital letters. LinkedIn doesn't let you format text. You can't bold it or italicize it or anything on your profile. So use all caps, right, to call out certain phrases. Here's what I do. Here's how I make clients money. Here's how I help businesses solve X, Y, Z, right? Get insanely specific about what you do. Another important thing, I want to refer to my good friend Commodus from the movie Gladiator. Okay, yeah, This is a classic movie, late 90s, Russell Crowe won a bunch of awards. There's this great scene in there, right? This is Commodus, kind of the evil emperor of Rome, and he's talking about bringing back the Gladiator games, right? And it's just total blood sport. People are cutting each other's arms and heads off and all this stuff. It's just brutal, right? And the senators, you can see them in the background, are like, you shouldn't be doing this. You know, we're above this. Rome isn't about that. And Commodus is like, no, 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 I know Rome, right? Rome is the mob, right? Rome, I'm going to give the people of Rome what they want, these Gladiator games. And he says, and they will love me for it, right? 
So I want you to think about this with your LinkedIn profile, frankly with your website, with anything you do, any of your marketing materials. Give your ideal customer, your ideal audience, your ideal client what they want, right? Which is all about them and solving their problems. And they will love you for it, okay? And another key thing you can learn from Gladiator. I want you all to go home and rent this tonight on iTunes or whatever you use. This is another great scene, right, where Russell Crowe has just gone through the arena and cut a bunch of guys' arms and heads off, blood spurting everywhere, and the crowd is kind of like in this hushed silence. They can't believe it, right? And Crowe yells out, he's like, are you not detained? You know, is this not what you came for? And what I want to tell you is the key to growing your business is to start cutting off people's appendages. No, 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 that's not it. Sorry, wrong presentation. No, no, no. The key is what I call infotainment, okay? This applies to LinkedIn because, again, it's a human network. Social media, the idea is to be a human being. And I see too many businesses or individuals being afraid to share some personality, right? Share some of your panache. Share information, but also be entertaining, right? If you're a really funny person or musical or whatever it is, I want you to have that come across in your content. Because, again, to borrow from Dale Carnegie or other business coaching leaders, right, we do business with people we know and we like. It's much harder if I'm entertaining you and we have a good relationship and we've connected it's harder to leave me or not want to use me than it is if I'm just some vendor that's numbers on a sheet, okay? So again, infotainment is what I call it. Give them the information, but bring in your personality, entertain them. So I'm going to show you another example of this, real-time editing of website titles, okay? This is a really simple, fast thing you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my profile, and what you're going to find in the contact information, right, is people list their websites. And typically what they're going to do uh, a lot of people will just put personal website, company website, they'll just have a default, right, and say nemomedia.com or whatever it is, okay, and they'll save it and display it. And then if I'm a prospect coming into John Nemo's profile and I land it in here, what's going to appeal most to me, right? Do I really expect them to get excited by the term company website? Like, wow, congratulations, Nemo. It's 2013 and you have a company website, <laughs> you know? Do you, have, you probably also have a pair of shoes. Like, who doesn't have a website, you idiot, right? Nobody cares. But look at this second term, right? What if it links to my website that's all about LinkedIn lead generation tips? Or what if it links to a blog that's all about LinkedIn marketing tips or debt collection marketing tips, right? So instead of just having company website, I'm going to put in other. I'm going to put in debt collection marketing tips, and I'm going to put in Nemo Media Group. Dot com, which is my website. Okay, now when they land on here, if you're a debt collector, that's going to be a lot more enticing and appetizing and make you want to click than just company website or whatever. That's just a simple tip. That's just one simple way to really get that client facing content. All right? So let's keep moving, let's keep rocking and rolling. Tip number three, and this is a huge one, right? This is what I call the money module. When I do the LinkedIn Riches training, I call this the ATM machine because this is where you pull all your money out, is in the LinkedIn groups, okay? When I did the 135000 in revenue in 90 days, it was all from LinkedIn groups. So the first thing you need to do is have your own LinkedIn group, okay? It's important, obviously, that it's branded but also controlled. And what I mean by that is when you set up your LinkedIn group, this is now your own personal fishing pond, okay? This is your place that you're going to stock with all your best prospects. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But it's controlled, okay? You're not letting in the competition. You're not letting in other sales guys or other vendors or other businesses that want to steal your customers, right? Keep your greasy mitts out of my group, okay? Now, the branding part, right? You can see my logo, Nemo Media, Nemo Media. But notice the red arrow and the title, right? It doesn't say Nemo Media Group. It doesn't say even just debt collection. It doesn't even just say debt collection marketing. It's insanely specific. Debt collection marketing, more money, more clients, right? I want people, when they stumble across this group title or when I invite them to it, to see instantly the value and the benefit of joining my group, right? It's going to be all about marketing your collection agency. It's going to be about getting more money and more clients. So again, when you're creating these groups, think about that, right? Here's my LinkedIn group. I can't name it LinkedIn because of the legal issues, but I can brand it with my logo, and I can say something where I'm trying to catch their attention. Turn your LinkedIn connections into cash, right? Convert connections into cash, something like that. It's insanely specific, right? This is the value of getting this group, okay? So I want you to do that with your LinkedIn groups. 
And also the beauty of LinkedIn, and this is something you cannot get on the other social media channels, is you know exactly who you find, your audiences, right? I want to just load my group up with specific decision makers, senior level, right? CEOs, directors, owners, managers. So when I spend my time on LinkedIn, I cut right to the chase, right? President, president, CEO, 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 CEO. I'm going right to my target audience to specific decision makers. No gatekeepers, right? No having to go through people to get introductions. Because on LinkedIn, everyone's got their own profile. So I can instantly connect with these CEOs and start selling to them, okay? This is the value and benefit of these groups. And I'm gonna show you right now in real time how easy this is to do. So step one is you build your own group, okay? You brand it, I just showed you all that. Step two is you wanna join 45 or even 50 groups in your niche. Okay, LinkedIn will let you join up to 50 groups total. And then I'm gonna show you steps three, four, and five here right now. Okay, so again, I know I've got my home base group on LinkedIn, right? Nemo Media, my core audience is debt collection um, marketing, you know, people, people that need debt collection services, right? CEOs, et cetera, et cetera. I wanna funnel them all in here, right? I've got 434 prospects, CEOs, et cetera. Well, how do I find more, right? How do I add more to my group? It would take forever if I was just individually searching and connecting with people on LinkedIn, right? It would be very time consuming. So instead, I join up to 40 or 50 other groups that are, guess what? Filled with debt collection agency executives, okay? I'm not joining other marketing groups. I'm not joining PR groups. I'm not joining groups where all my competitors are hanging out, right? So think of term your business, right? Don't go join the same groups that all your competitors are in. Go to the blue ocean, right? Go to where all your prospects are hanging out and there are very few, if any, of your competitors there. Perfect example, right? This is a group loaded with almost 6,000 debt collection agency executives, okay? So now I've got this blue ocean, perfect, all these prospects, okay? Rather than searching through, trying to figure out one at a time who a good fit is, I can just refine my search on LinkedIn and just say, I just want the CEOs, right? I want the guys that are gonna pull the trigger on my marketing services. Well, look what I get, CEO, 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 right? Founder, CEO, president, founder, CEO. Instantly, I've got all the decision makers, right? Let's say I have a regional business, or I'm a regional sales guy, right? I only can go after people in the Atlanta area. Okay, fine, I'll just refine the search that way. And immediately, I'm gonna get people in Atlanta, 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 right? CEOs in Atlanta. See how great this is? And you guys, this is just one group, right? This is 6,000 members of one group. I could spend forever in here just shooting fish in a barrel. And I'm gonna show you how fast and how easy it is to do. So let's say I don't wanna go with these guys because they're first level connections. I'm already connected to them, so it'd be kind of pointless to pitch them. They already are in my group and part of my life. So let's go with da -da 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 -da, Robert Cooper, okay? So I'm looking here, right, I've got my whole page of CEOs. I could pitch Michael, I could pitch Scott. I'm gonna just start with Robert, okay? And I'm gonna take 30 seconds to personalize my invitation because that's the biggest mistake people make is they just send a generic invite, right? So I'm gonna go and look at his profile. Where is he from? Where did he go to college, right? Where has he worked? Down here it's gonna say, here's people that we have in common, right? So maybe I can name drop, right? Here's organizations that he's a part of, okay? He's a certified instructor for ACA, the American Collectors Association. Great, I used to work there, so I can I can use some street cred right there to say, hey, I used to work for that association, cool, right? I can look down, I can look at who's recommended them, any honors, any awards, any companies. A lot of times on these profiles, you'll see too, they'll put interests, right? So for this one, I'm just gonna play the I used to work there angle, right? So I'm gonna say, I know I'm for this group. I'm gonna get rid of this horrible text. Don't ever send these. If you send these, I will come through your computer and slap you, okay? Don't do this, you gotta personalize. Right, because again, as a prospect, as a client, I want you to make it all about me. So I'm gonna say, hi, Robert. I see you went to Miami. Are you a huge Keynes? Um, again, I'm a huge college sports guy, so I always immediately go to where they went to college because everybody likes to talk about their college and their sports teams, usually anyway. Also, I used to be the PR guy at, let's just say, at ACA International, you still do instruction for them? Right, again, I'm already establishing A, uh, get me talking about Miami, right? Something he's passionate about. 
or you know, I used to work at AC International. You respect them. You work with them. That's going to give me immediate value to him as a contact. Now, here's the best part, right? Here's the reason he should connect with me. I'd love to connect and invite you to my group on net collection marketing tips. I think you'd find the posts and content helpful. Let's do something more strong. Let's see if uh, really useful to. Okay. All right, so I'm going to shorten it because LinkedIn, curse them, limits uh, long talkers like me. But right, I'm going to send this personalized invite. And what did that take me? 30 seconds, 60 seconds to go through this guy's profile? Guess what? I can just hit back a few times or I can just open it in new windows if I want. But for this case, just for speed purposes, I'm just going to go backward, right? On to the next one, right? Here's Scott. So I just did Robert. Let's just do, um, yeah, let's do Vincent. We'll just keep going, right? Here's another CEO, right? Exact guy that I want to be selling marketing services to, right? So, okay, he went to the University of Delaware. I can immediately throw in a, a college football reference because I know Joe Flacco, who's a quarterback for the Ravens, went to Delaware, right? So you don't have to necessarily go the sports route. You can look at anything, right? He's got skills in here. He's got where he went to school. A lot of times, again, depending on the person, they may put in different groups, interests, hobbies. Think about this with LinkedIn, guys. It's a basically a personal dossier on your prospects. You can't get this when you buy a list for people to cold call, right? You can't get this when someone hands you their uh, business card at a networking event or a trade show. You can't possibly know where they went to college, what they're interested in, what their work history is. I can now, right? So again, I immediately just go in, I paste in the generic invite, and I'm just gonna personalize it at the top, change his name, obviously, that would look kind of bad. Hi Vince, I see you went to Delaware. How about that Joe Flacco? Okay. Joe Flacco is probably the only guy that ever graduated the University of Delaware and made it to the NFL, as far as I know. So let's say, is he the only blue hen to make the NFL? Now, I'm banking on the fact that this guy went there, is probably a fan of their teams, and, again, loves probably loves to talk sports, or at least loves to talk about his college, right? And then I'll just say, also, I'd love to invite you to my group, because, again, I'm establishing the value of connecting with me, Right? I'm going to invite you to this group that will help you get more clients in growing your agency and getting sales leads, okay? So, let's see. Just delete that. Take that LinkedIn. I'll play by your rules, right? But see how fast this is, right? So, I just connected with two ideal prospects instantly, right, within two minutes. And I just go back a couple pages and I'm right back to my proverbial CEO fish in a barrel here once I get back one more page. And again, they're all there waiting for me. That's the beauty of it, right? Next guy, next man up, right? And again, I instantly go on and I can see and find, okay, here's Mary, right? Love the Santa photo, right? I can make a comment about that in the invite. Illinois, I was born in Illinois. I can play the Illinois card, right, as a salesperson. And it's not just to try to manipulate people. It's to build some relationship, right? Um, because, again, it's more fun to do business with people you know and you like. So, again, what I'm going to do, rather than go through 100 invites and grow my own business <laughs> on your time, I'm going to show you how this works, right? So once I start getting accepted invitations up here under my flag, hey, Dave Meyer mentioned me. Thank you. Appreciate that, buddy. Once I get that, I'll just go in here. Once I get these new connections, and I can just knock them out, right? I can send these to individuals. So say Mary just connected with me, right? She accepted my invite. Let's say Joe just accepted my invite because I'm going through doing these one at a time. Let's say Brian, right? Then I can go in here, and I can write a custom thing and say, hey, thanks again for connecting as promised. Here's an invite to my LinkedIn group on how to grow, well, let's say, on debt collection sales tips. Can't wait to have you join and share your thoughts. Right, again, I'm personalizing the group invitation even further, right? And up here you'll see they'll get a link to the group, okay? And I uncheck this at the bottom because I don't want it to go as a group message. I'll this way it'll go just as a one-on-one -on -one invite, right? And then boom, I hit share and I send it. 
You see how fast this is? This is basically the ability to find instantly your target audience, right? Connect with them and then shoot them into your sales funnel. Because guess what? Once they join my LinkedIn group, once they connect with me, I've got a built-in sales funnel where now I can go on and share content with them, right? I'm going to show one amazing example with you of how easy this is and how this works. Where did it go? Send it in, Jerome. Come on, baby. I know I just saw it. Um, okay. Here's how I made $10,000 on LinkedIn, okay, from one invite, one personalized invite. So what I did was I did the exact system I'm just showing you guys where I went through one at a time and was inviting people. And um, basically, I found a guy that went to the University of Pittsburgh, okay, and I knew, okay, I'm going to, you know, I saw the years that he graduated from Pittsburgh. So I thought, I'm going to just mention that in my invite. And he wrote back right away and was like, yeah, I went to Pittsburgh during that time. And, yeah, Dan Marino recruited me, this football star, and that was great. And what do you do again, John? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's talk. I need marketing services, right? Because instantly I got him talking about something he was passionate about, which was where he went to college, okay? And so then in my next interaction with him, I sent him a link to this YouTube video, right? And it was send it in Jerome. So watch this. Okay, I'll show you this quick video. It's hilarious. And this happened at a University of Pittsburgh. It was just a, a simple steal or a loose ball. I picked it up. And, you know, on a three-on-one, I think one of the things you learn as a point guard is you look and you choose your, your better finisher. I know if you gave it to him, I was going to, you know, dunk it. Balls right there. Wayne's on the other wing. Oh! 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 Yeah! Send it in, Jerome! Mike finished the Send it in, Jerome! Right? So guess what, guys? I just took 30 seconds to Google that YouTube link. I sent it to this guy just in my next message, kind of personalizing it, making it fun. And he was like, oh, my gosh, I was at that game. That was insane. That was crazy. Yeah, oh, man. You know, because I put send it in, Jerome, in the subject line, just personalizing it and saying, you know, hey, I thought you'd enjoy this video. Oh, and by the way, did you want to set up a call to talk marketing services? Well, of course he opened it. He watched the video. It put him in a good mood. And then he was like, yeah, and by the way, can we talk tomorrow about your marketing? I got a $10,000 contract from that, right, in two emails from a guy who'd never met me just because I took the time to leverage LinkedIn and personalize these invites, okay? See how simple this is? See how different this is? If I had just emailed this guy or cold called him and said, hey, I'm John Nemo. I offer marketing services. I'd like to know if you can have a call with me, right? He'd blow me off. But I took the time to personalize it bring up some fun memories about him, you know, get him involved, get him engaged, get him talking about what he loves, and now we have this running joke. And he told me this after I closed the contract. He goes, you know what got the contract for you? Because he had multiple bids. He goes, it was send it in Jerome. I just, that was just great about your personality, and I knew I'd want to work with you, and we'd have fun, and, and of course, you're, you know, the product you offered was great, and it's lived up to it. But that's just an idea of how easy this is to leverage and personalize these invites. Okay, I hope you guys see this. I mean, this is crazy how you can leverage LinkedIn for this one-on-one -on -one marketing and how quickly you can do this. All right, so more I want to share. Right, so again, the lead generation, the, the sales funnel, right? Number one is to get found, right? I showed you that tip earlier, how to get to be number one in your niche. Okay, that's simple enough. This is an amazing thing, right? When you get into these LinkedIn groups and start sharing stuff, watch what happens. So I go into a group full of debt collection executives, right? And I'm connecting and funneling, but now I want to show some of my expertise, right? So what I did was I knew I wanted to sell video marketing services. I wanted to create marketing videos for debt collectors, but I didn't go in and just post a sales pitch. I didn't go in and just go, hey, uh, who wants to buy stuff from me, right? Who wants to buy marketing videos? I'm really good at it, please. <laughs> no, I reverse engineered what I wanted to sell. I reverse engineered it and turned it into a blog post, right, or a LinkedIn post in this case, where I said basically, hey, here's three reasons video marketing is critical for debt collection agencies. One, two, three, right? Here's what it does. Here's how it makes you different than the competition. Here's how it helps you close deals, right? Here's how it makes you money. And oh, by the way, at the bottom you can see there the image. Here's a sample video of how you could do this. And that happened to just be a video that, oh, Nemo Media Group made for a client, right? So again, this wasn't an overt sales pitch. It was helpful content, got them thinking, got them excited about the possibilities of doing video. Watch what happens in the public comments on this post, right? Hey, John, would you be able to estimate an approximate cost for something similar to that video you shared? Here's my direct number. 
right? And he wasn't the only one, right? Other comments. Hey, can you give me a call to talk about what your company has to offer? This is great, you know? Third guy puts his number in the comments. Call me. I want to talk about your services, right? Three total strangers. You guys, this is like walking into the bar and all the beautiful people rushing forward and thrusting their phone number into your hands, okay? I don't know about you. It probably happens to Dave Meyer still. He walks into a bar and all the women run forward and give him their phone number. doesn't happen to me, but this is what will happen to you on LinkedIn, okay? People will literally rush forward and give you their phone numbers because, again, Look at what I did, right? I went where my target audience was already hanging out, a LinkedIn group with debt collection executives. I shared valuable information that, oh, by the way, I just happened to also offer this product, this service, right? It's, I call it reverse engineering. All you do is you figure out the service, the product that you offer, and then you just reverse engineer the problems it solves for that audience. And you don't have to push. You don't have to say, please choose us, right? Because sure, there are people in here that could read this and hire their own video marketing company or do it themselves. And they found it valuable. Great. I don't need them all to hire me, right? I got these guys in the comments that are like panting for me to call them, right? This is how I did 135 grand in revenue in 90 days because it was fish in a barrel. People wanted what I had because I reached the exact audience. So again, just to summarize this, you know, step four, tip four, this is how you instantly locate and engage these ready-to-buy prospects, right? You go through LinkedIn groups, okay? And I just showed you that. So let's say you want to sell services to people involved in healthcare finance. You go in, you search the groups. There's thousands of members. You join the groups, right? You filter your search. You got your fish in a barrel, your CEOs, CFOs, whatever it is, whatever niche you're in, right? There they are. Boom, CEO, 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 president. You connect with them. You funnel them into your group. You start sharing valuable content, and that won't be hard for you, right? Because it's your niche. It's your business. You're the expert on whatever it is that you do, right? Real estate, investing, um, you know, B2B marketing, coaching, consulting, whatever it is, just share your opinion, right? And Google can be your best friend. If you don't know how to create blog posts or things like that, just Google different news stories that apply to your audience, your industry, share them in these LinkedIn groups, and then share your two cents. Get conversations going, right? Because... The other key here, too, is when you are funneling and inviting and connecting with people, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. Okay, and this is a huge thing I want to point out. When you do the LinkedIn invite, please, for the love of all things sacred to social media, don't do the generic LinkedIn invite, okay? Look at how this is wrong in so many ways. First of all, John doesn't have his picture. I don't know what he looks like. I've never met him. He's a total stranger, right? The first rule of sales, right, since we were cavemen beating up dinosaurs and selling meat to each other was we wanted to look each other in the face, right? Connect. That's how we're wired as humans. Why wouldn't you take advantage of the visual and put your photo in there, right? Your smiling face makes you more trustworthy, right, to begin with. Second, he's just using the generic greeting. I'd like to add you to my network. There's no value in that. Why would I want to join you? You know, what are you going to do for me, right? It's all about what he can do for me. So again, this is an invite I got from somebody. Hey, John, I saw your posts in the group and a few of your videos on YouTube. I have to confess they are really inspiring. And I want to pause right there, everybody, because I don't know about you, but I didn't know that videos on debt collection marketing could be considered, quote, unquote, inspiring. <laughs> but I'll take it. Glory! I'm inspiring the masses, right? Debt collection marketing. I love it. So, of course, there's probably a little flattery involved. But you bet I accepted Leah's invite, and you bet she went to front of mind for me as a connection, right? And I want to know more about her and what she does. She took that time to personalize the invite. So here's what goes into your ideal LinkedIn invites, right? How you know the person through the groups, whatever, why they should connect with you. What's the value, right? Hey, my name is John Nemo. I provide service XYZ for your industry, and I want to invite you to my LinkedIn group on you know, debt collection marketing tips, on B2B marketing solutions, on dental clinic billing challenges, you know, on um, plumbing industrial challenges, whatever it is, right, whatever your niche is. And then, of course, you can work in some flattery. You make that ask to join your group, but you personalize it, right? Remember send it in Jerome? That just took 10 seconds to see he went to Pittsburgh, got him talking sports, second email sent a video, Third time we have a call, close them, and, you know, the rest is history. So, again, the key with LinkedIn, you've got to provide value. This is a huge mistake I see people making. They're just spamming. They're just using it 
to do sales pitches. Again, I, the way I explain this is it's like bringing a bullhorn into a cocktail party, right? You wouldn't go into a cocktail party or a mixer with a bullhorn and just start shouting like, I'm Dave Meyer. I work for BusyWeb. I want to build your website. Give me money, right? Dave could probably do that and pull it off. The rest of us can't, so don't try, okay? But here's the thing. If you just take a little time to build genuine, authentic relationships, and again, I showed you how quickly you can do that, the one-on-one -on -one personalized marketing. If you do that and then you go into the LinkedIn groups, you add insight, you add comments, you share content, again, and you share content that is reverse engineered to the products and services you want to sell, the leads come flooding in. Right? It's not rocket science, right? That's why that guy James, the Australian I showed you at the beginning, he had two new leads in the first 24 hours, right? That are going to turn into clients. So again, this is where it's at. And so the final step I want to show you um, is how you can do this, how you can replicate this with the training, right? How to make six figures in any niche. So I've created this system, but first I want to ask you three questions. So feel free to put this in the comments if you're able to, or just answer it out loud. I will strain my ears to hear you through the cyberspace. Have I delivered value on this webinar, right? Have you gotten a lot of great tips out of this? Yes or no, right? I'm hoping you're saying yes. I'm listening. My mom is saying yes, so she's watching, right? Think about this. Was that ranking number one tip on LinkedIn alone worth it? Heck yes, it was. I'll answer that for you. Right? Are you going to walk away from this webinar, this presentation, with immediate ways to start leveraging LinkedIn like you never have before? Right? Of course you are. Right? You got a ton of value out of this. And here's what's exciting, guys. What I just showed you in such limited time, right? 20, 30 minutes, whatever we've been doing, that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? So now I want to show you how to get the rest if you're interested. Okay? And I hope you are at this point because I've created this training called LinkedIn Riches, and I'm going to show you. Uh, it, through this link, if you go to linkedinriches.com slash busyweb, how to get the premium training. It takes less than an hour. There's four modules that you go through, and it's literally, you know, you, you're eating your lunch right now. Put down your Subway sandwich. You go through the training. Within an hour, you're going to be dominating on it. So I want to leave that link up there. I'll put it in the chat for people that are interested in the premium level training. But I want to save the rest of the time, um, Dave, for questions because that's my favorite part is, is trying to really help people with Q&A. So, folks, feel free to fire up. I'm going to take off my screen share. If I can figure it out, here I am. I'm back. Got it. Perfect, John, and thank you so much. This is this is going really well. I've been uh, tweeting and cross-posting stuff across, so digging this. It's It's been a tremendous help. So um, we do have some questions in the Q&A, and uh, I collected a couple of these off of tweets and stuff that I've gotten and uh, an email that I got into the sales box. But um, I, I did see one in that says, I see you're using LinkedIn Premium. Should I pay for LinkedIn? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think the big value of doing a premium account is you're going to get a ton more insight on your customers, your ideal prospects. So the reason I do like the sales basic, and I'll show you the value of that because, here, let me uh, turn the screen share back on. I get all excited and I forget. So hold <laughs> on. Um, so let me show you. This is just one example, right? So if I search for, let's say, sales uh, executive, right? And if I have a premium account, I'm going to get a ton more access when I go and search. Let's just say even second and third level connections um, who are in groups with me, right, in certain areas. You're going to be able to get all kinds of stuff. You can do salary filters. Let's, uh, yeah, again. You're going to be able to find your ideal audience. Or another great example here is when you look at who's viewed your profile, um, you're going to be able to get way more depth on these guys, right? Uh, as far as who they are, what you know, what you can see, all kinds of things. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely do the upgraded profile. And I don't get a cut from LinkedIn. I'm <laughs> just saying right. that um, because it does work. It definitely works. And that's um, it's it's not very expensive anymore for the LinkedIn Premium, right? No, it's like 18 bucks a month, I think, for the one that I have. Sweet. And so, again, the biggest value is just the customer insights, the client insights that you're going to get. Um, you'll get things like in-mail and stuff, too, but I would definitely upgrade it for sure. Right, and I, I usually warn people against in-mail if you're not going to do what you need to do. And as you already talked, because if you just send people spam messages and say, I'm interested in connecting on LinkedIn, they don't know you from Adam, well, right. you're just going to be spamming people and turning them off. So, awesome. Yeah, I have a great, a great story before the next question. Uh -huh. American Express did this to me, 
right? They did they spammed an email in with a credit card offer to my LinkedIn mailbox. I was like, are you kidding me? Like even the big brands don't necessarily have this figured out. Um, yeah. because again, all they did was spam me and I deleted it versus if they would have taken five seconds to look at my profile and say, oh, he's a small business owner. Let's connect. Let's personalize it. Let's invite him to our LinkedIn group on small business financing tips where we have blog posts and things. Oh, and by the way, here's a blog post on how to choose the right credit card for your small business. And we just happen to offer it. I mean, that's a lot better way to get me in as a prospect than black, you know, just sales spam. So, Cool. All right, thank you. And then another question that we have: um, Should I create multiple LinkedIn profiles, or you know, what what like maybe a company page or multiple company pages? How would you recommend folks do that? I mean, I I think it's a little dangerous to set up all kinds of profiles. It's just hard to keep up with them. But you know, what's your advice on that? Yeah, I agree with you, Dave. I think you just stick with one individual profile, and you can filter it and tailor it to your different audiences, your different niches. You know, with the keywords like I showed you. Because again, it's just hard to keep track of. You're going to get confused, and you might confuse prospects too, right? If they just do a general search for Dave Meyer on LinkedIn, and they see four Dave Meyer profiles with your picture, well, which one do I connect with? Does he check that one? So mm -hmm. just focus on one LinkedIn profile. You can do different company pages. You can do multiple LinkedIn groups. That's another question I get. Create multiple groups, one for each vertical, one for each line of service. That's a great way to do it. Awesome, cool. And as we talked right before the meeting, you know, now that uh, LinkedIn's doing those featured pages or the the content pages underneath company pages, the showcase pages, um, that that's really kind of a helpful way to do that too. Absolutely. Uh, final question I have here is how do I pick a great niche to target in LinkedIn? Right. I mean, I think it all depends. This is the advice I'll give you. Well, first of all, the niche you should pick should depend on your business, right? What you want to do. But I mean, I think it it depends on where you can offer the most value to an audience, right? So you've got to figure out what is it that I do and do really well. What's my unique ability, the value that I can bring my clients and customers? Then I'm going to go pick that niche, right? And I'm, right. it doesn't matter how big or how small it is, right? Because LinkedIn, everybody's on it, right? So even me with the tiny niche with debt collectors, there's only a few thousand on there. It doesn't matter, right? If I want to go into a bigger pond with you know, uh, business owners, there's millions, right? But again, the beauty of it is you can search and filter to the exact people that you want to reach. So it's definitely you need to pick your niche according to what your strengths are, but then those people are there waiting to hear from you. Right, and, and your advice is probably to start as small as you can find, right? Because it makes it a lot easier to dig in and there's a lot less competition. Correct, yeah, and, and be insanely specific, and, and it helps... In the beginning, like I did just debt collection marketing, right? And of course I can market for anybody, right? We all can. But I knew I couldn't compete with these huge hundred person agencies right off the bat. I knew that there was a market there that I could probably play in and do well. And it was beautiful because they didn't have a lot of people trying to cater to them. And especially not using the approach I used, which was actual honest to God relationship building versus just spamming them. So yeah, absolutely. Great advice. Awesome. Well, I think that's it for questions. I have just one more thing I'm going to screen share in to wrap up as I normally do on these calls. So uh, if you'll bear with me for just one moment, I'm going to screen share over to the presentation again and or to my presentation. And then in wrap, just wanted to share a couple more things to remember. First, of course, uh, John, if you want to bring up your screen to um, your website, as I think right. visiting Nemo Media and LinkedIn Riches, um, is going to be pretty important for everybody that's on the call today. I know I was, um, I'm, I'm a professional speaker just like you are, John. Um, and so, you know, having having somebody on that's top top caliber is always awesome for me to sit in and listen on. So thank you so much again for, for yeah. connecting up. Um, but, you know, great job, helpful content, and I'm excited to check out the training, and uh, that's something that I'm going to get my team onto as well. So thanks again. You bet. Yeah, absolutely. To remind everybody how BusyWeb can help, wanted to share out that you know we build websites that are optimized for social media content. So in addition to the stuff that John already covered, you know we can help you build your website so that your website is updating your LinkedIn profile, your LinkedIn company page, your LinkedIn showcase pages by content and by category. So it can be really helpful and useful for folks as they're connecting up. So. You know, the more you do and the more you can kind of 
do more with less input. I'm always for that, and that kind of ties back into our generate buzz without getting stung stuff. So, you know, we'll do web hosting and speaking, consulting on strategy, and John and I are actually working on a web partnership where we're going to help John's teams and Nemo Media out, Nemo Media up with um, some web design help um, for his clients. So yeah, I again, love that, Dave. <laughs> yeah. I love you do that on YouTube. I love it. I yeah. love that idea of publish it once and it floods all your different LinkedIn groups, categories. I don't think people realize how powerful that is and what a time saver that is. So, yeah. dude, I'm excited to see that firsthand. Hugely helpful, and our clients are getting a ton of bang for their buck out of it because it helps you in SEO to have five different trusted links right. every time you post something. So it's awesome. Um, again, join us every Wednesday for Buzz Builders. You know, next Wednesday we're going to be off because it's Christmas next Wednesday already. But um, we are going to cover. Um, probably we're going we're to have to round some things up here on an off day because Wednesdays for the next couple of weeks are kind of booked up with holiday stuff. But um, we're going to wrap in. I do have some Twitter roundups that we want to do, and then at the end of the year, I am going to do a best of series to kind of wrap up the best of Buzz Builders thus far. And as I mentioned, this is video number 76 that we've published on Buzz Builders. So excited to have you all join us and help us ring out the year as BusyWeb moves into its 15th year of business in 2014. So thanks again to everyone. And as a reminder, um, be sure to request a Buzz report if you're interested. This is free to Buzz Builders attendees. You go to busyweb.com slash buzz. We'll look at your website. We'll look at your social media. We'll look at your search engine optimization and give you real-world tips to enhance and increase your results in all of those tools. Um, again, I am Dave Meyer with BusyWeb. We're going to hang on for a little bit for the folks that are with us. Again, reminder, go to BusyWeb or Google.com slash BusyWeb plus BusyWeb to uh, join us live and ask John questions if you're shy. We're not going to record this last part. I'm going to actually end the broadcast in just a moment here. And uh, as we go through then, you know, join us up. But if not, you know, be sure to get a hold of John at LinkedInRiches.com or NemoMedia.com. So, again, thank you so much, John, for joining us. Would love to uh, have you on again sometime in 2014. And, uh, again, I'm Dave Meyer with BusyWeb. Thank you all very much for joining us. And remember, at BusyWeb, we help you generate buzz without getting stung. Thanks, John. You bet. Thanks again for having me. Take care.